Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you've been watching some of my more recent videos, you'll have either heard or maybe just guessed that I'm pregnant. So in this, my video for this week, I wanted to share with you guys what I've been wearing and what I've been sewing, specifically focusing on sewing patterns that are not for intended for maternity or like designed for maternity wear but I've been found that are sort of compatible with me so far in my pregnancy anyway. I've still got about three, three, three and a half months to go and um, so obviously I'm going to get a lot bigger and I'm sure that my um, wardrobe will generally diminish and I won't be able to wear as many things as I can now later on in the pregnancy but hopefully this gives you a good idea if you are pregnant of things that you can make and wear or if you're not pregnant, that it just gives you an idea of some project inspiration and what different garments look up look like made up in different fabrics, basically. I've got a blog post that goes with this video, so there's lots of pictures there and there's links to the patterns that we've got in the shop as well. So you can check that out. The link will be in the description of the video. So the reason I wanted to focus it mainly on non-maternity sewing patterns is because in my last pregnancy, I did make some things that had like specific maternity hacks to them. There wasn't as many maternity specific patterns out then. There are more now, more independent sewing patterns that have specific maternity ones. Last time I was pregnant, there wasn't as many. So then I just altered and made, did like maternity hacks on things. But, and I did wear them, which was fine. But then afterwards, I just found that I didn't really feel like wearing them anymore, uh, which kind of seemed a shame. Like you make effort to make something and then you don't wear it. So that's why I thought this time I'll go for different tact and I'll wear and make things that aren't specifically maternity and then hopefully afterwards I'll still feel like actually wearing them. That's the plan in my head anyway. Feel free to tell me if I'm being naive but that's what I'm going for this time. Um, so I've split it up into three sort of groups. I've got some tops, I've got bottoms and like all in ones and then I've got a few dresses as well. So the first top I wanted to mention, which is also the one that I'm wearing at the moment, um, and I feel like I talk about this pattern all the time, but it, it is really good and I do love it. Um, it's the Closet Case Patterns Cali shirt. So I've been wearing a lot of the cropped versions. I've got so many different versions of it. Um, I've been wearing the cropped one with just a, a maternity, a ready to wear maternity vest top underneath and some maternity jeans. Um, the maternity vest tops tend to be like a bit longer than regular tops, which is kind of what you need to get over the bump. So I've been wearing lots of them, getting use out of them. And because it's designed to be loose anyway, and it's got that big back pleat and the, the pleat in the center back, then yeah, there's just a plenty room in it. And the next one is the True Bias Roscoe blouse. And I would say this probably isn't my normal style of blouse, but I thought I would give it a go for pregnancy wear because it's quite loose anyway. It's got, binding around the neck and it's very gathered round here it's got raglan sleeves and then the sleeves are sort of puffy and kind of gathered as well and i originally made it to be more like a beach cover-up when it was in holiday i used a really fine fabric and um, it's the atelier brunette cotton crepe fabric that i used that's quite sheer but i actually think that it looks quite nice with just a white vest top underneath and I added an additional tie that I just sewed into the side seams afterwards just to sort of draw it in at the back a little bit and give it a bit more definition because it is very, very kind of loose and baggy, which is which is nice too. It just depends what sort of style you want to go for. Um, I actually sized down in that as well. It does come up really big. I think if you were making it in a more drapey fabric, then it would maybe be fine, but in the cotton crepe that I use just because it does have a bit more structure it's just it's it's quite puffy just on its own and um, so just check the finished measurements to help you sort of decide what size you actually want to make the next top is the true bias ogden cami which I found is it's still been really good for me to wear in pregnancy and because it's summertime and it's like a vest top it's nice and cool as well and um, it's quite a-line shaped and it's not got any there's no bust starts or anything it's, it's just like generally quite loose and a lot of my versions are made using a really sort of lightweight viscose fabric i've got a viscose linen one as well so they drape really nicely and just kind of move around 
I do also have a version in a cotton double gauze as well, which is good. But yeah, I find that just the, the, the natural looseness and sort of A-line shape of that garment is still meant that I can wear it in pregnancy as well. It's still sort of fitted, fitted despite the change in my body shape. Um, and then the next one, which I'm sure will get even more wear out of as the weather sort of, as the summer kind of passes and it starts to be cooler again, is the closet case patterns ebony tea which at the neckline and like arms is just like like you know a t-shirt like a stretchy jersey t-shirt but it is very sort of flared and got a really exaggerated a-line shape into the bodice which i think looks lovely it looks really good in a viscose or a medal jersey that drapes a lot if you use a cotton based jersey it'll probably sort of stick out and feel a little bit more tenty but in that in a really nice drapey jersey it looks lovely and because it's got such a full kind of um, swishy shape to it, it's, it's perfect for pregnancy because there's there's so much room in it. So it, it is quite short, does come up quite cropped. So the versions that I already had from before I was pregnant, I'm wearing a vest top underneath them. But you could just easily lengthen it. It does have like a tunic length and a dress length that comes with the pattern as well. So I think that's a, a really good a good one for maternity just because the style of it anyway is so kind of loose and flowy. The next one is another Closet Case Patterns one. It's the new Celo top from their Rome collection and it is designed to be quite a, a loose sort of boxy top. Um, there's a couple of different sleeve options as well. There's a little sort of yoke detail at the back. You can either have binding or a facing at the neckline and then it's got a dart that comes from the armhole into the bust. And you could either use something more drapey. For my version, I use the Atelier Brunette Moonstone Viscose, which is really nice. It just sort of it kind of drapes and moves around nicely despite the sort of looser, boxier shape. But you can use a more structured fabric for it as well. It depends what look you want to go for. Um, it does come up quite cropped. This was the length that I made was just like straight off what the pattern um, had. Um, and I did just make my normal size, which I make in closet case, which is a six. Um, so I would say that if you were make, if you were just going to be wearing it without a top underneath, you would need quite high waisted trousers, or you might want to lengthen it a little bit. Yeah, it's just quite a nice sort of simple basic top. And yeah, it's just just been good to good to layer up as another sort of top alternative, really. So in terms of bottoms, the only like true just bottom half garment that I've made have been the Megan Nielsen Virginia leggings and they come with two different rise options. So you've either got a low rise or a high rise and then although you can use either of those rises, whatever you prefer, and it's just like a regular pattern, it does say on the pattern that the low rise is good for maternity because it basically goes under your bump. So I've made the low rise version and and then it's good to wear with dresses or tunics. Um, I've been wearing it a lot with my green line uniform tunic because um, I don't have I don't actually have that many dresses. Um, but yeah, it's good good to wear with dresses as well. I use some of our loop back medal jersey, which is quite heavy, but it's really nice and stretchy. It's so soft, it's really comfy to wear. Comes in lots of colours as well. So I just made mine in a classic navy because I knew it would go with lots of stuff. And um, but they're super quick to make because each leg is just one bit of fabric and you saw the inside seem to make it a tube and then it's got a waistband so they're really really quick and easy to make and yeah they are really in, in the fabric that I chose which as I said does come in other colours as well and they're just lovely and soft and good to wear so that's a good a good option for just pairing up with other stuff um, and then the other two garments that I've made that are more like all-in-ones you might have seen my the Burnside bibs, the So How Seven Burnside bibs. I've been sharing them on Instagram, and um, they have a, a version two and that pattern that's more sort of gathered at the back, so it's designed to be looser anyway, and it doesn't have a zip or anything, so it's designed to be able to be pulled on and off over your hips, so it's generally looser. And then the way that the straps tie round the back just sort of draws everything in, and. Um, so I just made them like up in a regular size. I didn't make any adaptions to that. And in my head, I was thinking, well, as my bump gets bigger, it will just sort of occupy this gathered bit that's normally at the back. And then the bib will probably get a bit lower as well. Um, but yeah, you just I've just been layering that up with like a little t-shirt underneath, which is quite nice. I use some of our navy tensile twill fabric, which is lovely and soft and lightweight. Um, it's really nice to wear at this time of year because it keeps you nice and cool. So they've been they've been popular um, 
for me I've been wearing them a lot and then the other jumpsuit that I've had which I made pre-pregnancy but it's still been fitting me fine and it's really comfy to wear is the closet case pattern Sally jumpsuit so it's a jersey jumpsuit got a lovely v-neck and like a tie at the back so some nice details and then it's just lovely wide leg long wide leg trousers with pockets too and then it's got an elasticated waist so the elastic has just been stretching over the bump um, and I've probably been like having the elastic waist like hat it's just been sort of starting to come over my bump a little bit um, so yeah that's that's been nice and comfy for me to wear as well I know it's going to get to a point where I can't get in that but it's been good for me now anyway and I'm sure I'll, wait, I'll continue to wear it afterwards so I do wear that one a lot and then in terms of dresses I do have to admit I don't wear a lot of dresses on a day-to-day -day basis but I did go to a couple of weddings a few months ago and my bump was starting to show so I needed to sort of have a dress that was going to be suitable for that so I actually ended up making the True Bags Ogden cami and I made it into a dress and I followed a really simple adaption that you can do to the pattern which basically just add, it's like instead of doing a full bust adjustment it's almost like doing a full tummy adjustment like a pregnancy bump adjustment it just adds more fabric to the front bodice basically um, and there's a link to a tutorial that I used to do that it's in my blog post so if you fancy giving that a go you can try it out it's really easy um, if, even if you've not done pattern adaptions before it's it's quite a simple one to do um, so yeah I just lengthened the Ogden cami pattern and did this adaption to the front bodice and then I also added just made like a little belt and sewed belt loops at the side seams so that the belt would just sit high it would sit above my bump um, I used some of our Liberty silk to make that which we don't have any left of but it would look good just in any like rayon or viscose or modal fabric tensile fabric something that's sort of drapey and swishy it looks really nice in so that's one really sort of simple nice dress option the other dress option that I have been able to wear too is the True by the Southport dress. So it's got buttons at the front just to the waistline and then it's got a gathered waist that's got a tie and then it's just a sort of straight skirt underneath. Um, so it is quite loose and then the sort of shape of the garment comes from the waist, the drawstring at the waist. So if you're pregnant, you do just have to have that waist tie sitting a bit higher. So it sits above the bump, which does then shorten the length of the skirt because you're lifting it up. So it has it has worked out a bit short in me but if you wear leggings underneath then it's fine or if it's a really hot summer's day you might not mind or you could just lengthen it of course as well and then the other dress that I have made more recently is the named patterns kilo wrap dress again non-maternity dress but it is very very kind of loose and the shape of the front and back pieces are um, quite unusual it's sort of narrower at the bottom hem and then it gets really wide and then goes back in again um, up into your armholes and then you just basically wrap it round so if you've got a pregnant belly then you just don't wrap it round as much but there's you'll see loads of lovely versions if you look at a hashtag for it online or like google image it or whatever it's a really nice dress really versatile one as well um, and I, I used some lovely soft medal jersey from the shop to make mine so it's super comfy to wear as well and then there are a few other patterns that I think would probably be okay as well to wear in pregnancy. I've not tried all of them, so I can't say for sure, but but maybe worth having a look at if you're looking for some more ideas. And um, the True Bias Hudson pants, because they've got an elasticated waist, so they would be, you know, they would sort of stretch with your bump for a bit. Obviously, when you get really big, then probably not so much. And um, the Polynalis Vera shirts, just really quite a loose, sort of boxy, baggy style again. Um, the green line Hadley top, again it's got a back pleat and it's quite A-line in shape so to layer up underneath a vest top I think that would that would work. Um, the Deer and Dole Mayo Sotis dress, again another just loose, loose sort of more bohemian style dress. The closet case patterns Charlie Kaftan and the green line Faro dress, that's quite sort of A-line dress so there'd be lots of room around the tummy. And then the green line Alder dress, the version that's got the gathered panelled bit. At the, at the back I actually did make that in my last pregnancy and I did wear it and um, my boobs ended up getting too big for it after a while but it, it worked for a while Um, so so yeah really you're just looking for styles that are like generally fuller in the lower half anyway 
you know, everybody's body sort of changes in different ways, I guess, when you're pregnant, and it might be that, you know, your your sort of rib cage expands and gets bigger, or your boobs get a lot bigger, or whatever, so, um, yeah, styles that are looser anyway, or garments that are made out of jersey are really good, because they're going to sort of be able to move and stretch with your body, but I hope that's given you some ideas anyway, just um, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below, of course, and remember there's the blog post that links to this video, so it's got links to all the patterns and everything you can see um, more pictures of the things that I've made. Thanks so much for watching guys just remember to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and I'll see you next time. Bye!